Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the brand new Ford F-150 XLT versus the Lariat trim level. Now we're going to be comparing the XLT truck over here versus the Lariat and we picked these two because these are the most popular trucks uh, that Ford offers for the F-150 lineup. This XLT which is the most popular and the Lariat being the next. And I'll introduce both of these trucks starting here on the right. This is a 2022 Ford F-150 XLT. Now this has the high package, or as Ford calls it, the 302A package, uh, again, which is the high package. And this truck over here is a 2022 F-150 as well. This is the Lariat trim level. And this also has the high package. So this is the 502A. Um, so Ford calls this the high package. So this is a very loaded truck. Uh, both of these are very loaded trucks. Uh, so we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of both of these. Now they are both finished in the exact same color, Atlas Blue Metallic, which was actually introduced for the 2022 model year as well. Uh, these both also have the Sport package and a bunch of other options that I'll sort of mention throughout the video. Uh, so we're gonna do an exterior walk around of both of these, kind of show the differences that you get, and then we'll move on into the inside of these as well. So again, this XLT here does have the high package or that 302A package, uh, which does include these nice LED headlights. Uh, now this is a reflector beam, uh, so it's not a like traditional LED headlight that you would see on a, a regular uh, LED headlight. This is actually a reflector, uh, so it uses a s different uh, style LED design than the Lariat, which I will show you here in a second. Uh, but it also includes the LED daytime running light that runs down into the LED fog light as well. But I'll show you the Lariat. So we have the high package, which does mean we do have the adaptive LED headlights. So these headlights actually move when you turn the steering wheel. So as you turn, the headlights will actually pivot on an angle and they will adjust uh, to sort of shine light in the direction of your turning. Uh, but this also has the LED daytime running light and also that LED fog light down there as well. And now I flicked the hazards on for both of these trucks uh, so you kind of get an idea of the turn signal design. Uh, so we do have the sort of standard halogen incandescent uh, design for the turn signal on the XLT versus the Lariat it does use a nice LED turn signal. Uh, so there's a lot more modern design here on the Lariat. So as I sort of mentioned in the beginning of the video, uh, both of these trucks do have the Sport package uh, for the corresponding trim level. So we have the XLT Sport package and the Lariat Sport appearance package. Uh, so here with the XLT, we do get the sort of unique carbonized gray, sort of matte carbonized gray finish grille, and also the body colored front and rear bumpers. And again, same here with the Lariat, although we do have a different style uh, with the grille, sort of a different style here with the Lariat versus the XLT. So they did try to change it up. Uh, but we also do get the body colored front bumper as well. Now this Lariat does include the front parking sensors, uh, which is an option on the Lariat. So it's not a standard option, but you do get the uh, parking sensors, which is available. Uh, so we have that as well, not available with the XLT. We also do get tow hooks, which we do get on both of the models as well. And they both also have the active grill shutters. Uh, so they actually move if it needs to warm up. And also with the intercooler. Uh, so we have the EcoBoost engine. So we have the active shutters down there and also for the Lariat as well. And looking at the wheel design for both of these trucks here. Uh, so they are actually the identical wheels. Uh, they, they're both the same. They both use a 20 inch sort of gray painted aluminum wheel and it is wrapped in the all-terrain tire. Uh, this is actually an upgraded all-terrain tire that is offered with the 20 inch wheel. Uh, so we have that equipped here on the XLT and also the Lariat over here as well. And moving down the side of both of these trucks, of course we do have your XLT badging and the Lariat. And it's sort of a minor difference is the fact that the Lariat does use a body colored mirror cover, whereas the XLT is sort of your black plastic. Um, but you will notice we do have the 360 degree camera on both trucks, uh, which is nice that Ford offers the 360 camera on the XLT. Uh, so it's nice having that on both. They also both have the mirror spotlight as well and the side mirror, uh, the uh, indicators. And they also both have the blind spot system uh, up in the corners as well. We also get these nice black platform running boards, which is standard with the high package and uh, standard on the Lariats. So we get the running boards and we also do get these nice body colored door handles back here as well. Now we'll move on to the back end here. They both have the FX4 package, which is available on both XLT and Lariat. Uh, so we do have that option there. We also have the power sliding rear window, which is offered again on both trim levels. Look at the rear end here of both of these F-150s. So now I've turned the lights back on and you can kind of get an idea of the uh, taillight design. Uh, so there's a much more significant difference between the taillights uh, versus the headlights on the XLT versus the Lariat. Uh, so we'll look here with the Lariat. We do get a beautiful LED design here, uh, full LED running light, as well as the reverse light, the turn signals, everything is LED. Uh, whereas the XLT does have a partial LED. Uh, the reverse light is the only LED part 
uh, but the turn signals, the brake lights, they're all these sort of incandescent bulbs, uh, but they both do have the blind spot radar system uh, integrated in that section there. Uh, so you do have that system on both of the trucks. But again, just sort of looking at the rear design on both of these. Uh, so again, we do have the sport package, just include the body colored rear bumper. Uh, so we have that option on both. You can get Chrome. Uh, there's a Chrome package that is available, uh, but these ones do not have that. We also have your rear camera back there, the LED spotlight, and they both do have the class four trailer hitch as well. Um, but I will open up the tailgate, kind of show you the bed on both of these. Uh, so this one does have the optional tailgate step. Uh, which is an option on the XLT, uh, so keep that in mind, optional but not standard. They also have a, an inverter outlet and also the LED box lighting back there as well. Now if we move on to the Lariat here, uh, one option that is available with the Lariat only, uh, sorry Lariat and above, is the power tailgate option. Uh, so what that means is basically is the tailgate does go up and down a uh, power operated. So you can use the key fob and it goes up and down, whereas the XLT is sort of just a soft opening. Uh, so you can open it itself, but it will not go back up. Um, so that is available only with the Lariats here. Uh, it does include the tailgate step and the tailgate work surface. Uh, so it's a package option. It gives you a bunch of stuff. This one happens to have a, an aftermarket Linex spray and bed liner. Uh, but obviously you can get spray and liners uh, for both or drop in whatever you prefer uh, but you also have a, an inverter outlet and also the box lighting system as well now we're going to move into the interior of both of these tracks we'll start here with the xlt model uh, they both have the intelligent access door handle so all you do is put your hand behind it and it will unlock for you we also have the door entry keypad uh, code there up as well now with the XLT, it does come standard uh, with a cloth seat. Um, it's a very comfortable seat. This being the sport package, it does include the black sport cloth. Uh, so it's a sort of different cloth than you would find in a regular XLT. Um, so this one has the black sport cloth. The seats are 10-way power adjustable, both driver and passenger. Uh, and they're also heated on the high package. Uh, so that 302A package does include the heated function and that 10-way power adjustable seat. Door panel, very nice design here. We have nice soft touch leather and all of your power controls for your windows, your mirrors and your locks right up there as well. We look at some of the controls here. We have all of your lighting controls. We also have your tailgate release. And this one does have the optional power adjustable pedals, uh, which is a standalone option with the XLTs and also your electronic parking brake right there as well. Now, one of the major differences between a Larry and an XLT is that the Larry does use a full leather interior, whereas the XLT over there does use a cloth um, actually, there is a way to get leather in an XLT, uh, but very uh, special package you have to get. Um, so, but most of them we have are cloth only. Uh, so you do get the leather in the Larry, which is certainly nice, more premium. Uh, and it's also a sort of two-tone color. Uh, so you'll see here, we do have sort of a maroon sort of brown color that Ford uses for the Lariats. It also includes the accent piping on the seats. Uh, so they kind of uh, get a bit of a splash of color. Uh, so it's not so black and monotone. It also includes the uh, accent color up on the dash. Uh, so it's sort of a nice soft touch material versus the XLT uses sort of just a hard plastic. Uh, so nicer materials in the Lariat versus the XLT. And the door panel design, again, soft touch leather right there, as well as again, that accent color. Um, we do have a couple more controls here. Um, it obviously, it still includes all of your power windows and, and mirrors and stuff, uh, but they do have the power folding mirrors, uh, which is not available with the XLT. Uh, so you have power folding mirrors, and we also have the memory function for your seats, your steering wheel, and also the infotainment system. Uh, so we have memory function, which is not available with the XLT, three-way, which is nice. Uh, so that is available, again, with the Lariat High package. And this one does have the upgraded Bang & Olufsen sound system. Uh, the Lariat does come standard with a Bang & Olufsen sound system, but there's two different versions of it. Uh, this one has the upgraded one, which includes the uh, speakers and the headrest. We also have speakers and the headliner. Uh, so this is an 18 speaker system, whereas your XLT uses a standard I know, eight speaker Ford system. Um, you can get a Bang & Olufsen system in the XLT, uh, but it's a standalone option, whereas the Lariat comes standard with it. So you kind of have the difference there. Um, but looking at some of the controls here, uh, they're actually identical because we do have the power adjustable pedals on the XLT. Larry comes standard with them, but all of your lighting controls there as well. And this is your power tailgate release. Uh, so you can use this button to move the tailgate up and down. Uh, so that's one more difference there, but also the uh, electronic parking brake as well. But we'll step back inside of the XLT model. I'll show you the interior of the XLT, then we'll move back over to the Larry. Um, but we'll take a look at the key fob for both of them, um, but they do use the exact same key fob. Uh, so they're identical, they're not any different. They have the remote start system and also the tailgate release right there. Again, because we do have the high package, does include the remote start system, which is certainly nice to have, especially up here in Canada. Uh, but we'll look here at the steering wheel. 
nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Actually, we'll start it up here. Push button start on both models as well. Um, so we have your cruise control with your lane keeping system and also your volume buttons here. And then we have controls here for that center engage cluster screen and also some of your phone and track buttons. Um, I'll kind of go over the differences on the steering wheel uh, when we get into the Lariat. Uh, but we do get a nice 12 inch display here with the XLT. Again, the high package does include that screen. Uh, so this is not standard, whereas the XL or the, uh, sorry, the Lariat comes standard with the screen. This is an option. Um, so there's kind of a lot of options that are are, are optional on the XLT, but the Lariat that comes standard with, you kind of have to go between and kind of figure out what you really want. Um, but this one has the, again, the 360 camera, so you can kind of cycle through a bunch of different views, which is again on the Lariat as well. We have the hill descent control, which is with that FX4 package. And so that's right there. We have all of your trailering stuff, four wheel drive, and also the dual zone uh, automatic climate control, which is also comes with that, uh, that high package uh, the 302a package and then your heated seats that uh, control right there as well we do have your 10 speed automatic transmission uh, which is hooked up to in this case a 3.5 liter ecoboost engine uh, which is actually a uh, the highest output uh, most powerful engine you can get for the f-150 the standard f-150 um, so that's nice that we have that here we also have an inverter outlet up here 12 volt connector as well as a sort of a dual glove box design this one has controls for the power sliding rear window, uh, which is nice to have, uh, so you can have that. But stepping into the Lariat model here, uh, so we'll step inside, and again, this uses the, uh, the exact same key fob, but I'll show you just in case you wanna see it. Exact same, remote start, and also the tailgate release, which I guess does also act as the power tailgate, so it's very slightly different. Um, but we have, again, your push button start, now this particular uh, F-150 Larry has the 2.7 liter EcoBoost, uh, so it's a slightly smaller displacement, but you can obviously option in the, uh, the higher output uh, EcoBoost engine if you wish. Um, lots of engine available for the F-150s between a V8, you have a hybrid option. Uh, so there's lots of options for the, for the engine choice. Um, but well, the steering wheel is uh, heated in the, in the Lariat's, the high package, so you have a heated steering wheel, which you can't get with the XLT. And this one has the uh, Co-Pilot 360 Assist package, which does include adaptive cruise control and lane centering. Uh, so the truck basically drives itself. Uh, it is not quite the blue cruise system that Ford has, um, but you can get it with a Lariat if you wish. Uh, but this has the adaptive cruise. And then we also have controls here uh, for the fully digital gauge cluster. Uh, so that's another main difference between the two is that this uses a fully digital gauge cluster, whereas your XLT is sort of a half screen and then your analog uh, dials same buttons there though as well. Um, here in the middle, same screen, it's the Sync 4 12 inch screen. Uh, so Ford didn't change that, which is nice because it's a fantastic screen. Uh, Ford did a great job with this. Also that 360 camera system. So again, same views you can cycle through here. We also have your parking sensors. And again, that hill descent control right there as well. All of your trailering stuff here. Uh, now a big difference with the four wheel drive system is that the Lariat comes with the four automatic. Uh, so this is a two-speed transfer case, whereas the XLT comes with your four high and four low, we get the addition of the four automatic, uh, which is sort of a or automatic four-wheel drive system. Uh, so it'll send power to the front wheels when it uh, detects slippage. Uh, so that's nice to have. And then uh, also the dual zone climate control. Another addition we get with the Lariat is the cooled seats. Uh, so we get cooled seats with the, with the Lariat for the uh, front passengers only. Uh, we also have a wireless charger, which is not available with the XLT. But again, your 10-speed automatic. We also have your inverter outlet, 12-volt connector, and also that same uh, sort of dual glove box design there as well. Now, this one does have the optional panoramic sunroof, uh, which is uh, it's a more common option on the Lariats. Uh, these are more expensive, uh, so it's, it's about an $1,800 option uh, in Canada, that is. Um, whereas you can get it on the XLT, but it's a pretty rare option to find. Um, because it's a it's a cheaper track, so people don't like spending the extra money on it. Um, so it's it's available here uh, again on both, but more common on the on the Lariats. Um, we do have that Bang & Olufsen sound system speaker up there. Again, 18 speakers. You have speakers all around you. It is a 360 uh, uh, audio system. It's very very well made. We'll look into the rear seat here of the XLT first, and then we'll move back into the Lariat. Um, so again, with the Sport package, we do get the Sport cloth. Again, whereas the Lariat uses leather. Uh, so, you know, kind of the, one of the main differences between the two. Uh, but the seats both fold up. So we do have a nice flat surface back here. 
We do have an extra feature in the Lariat that I will show you though. Uh, we also have the under seat storage back here. And this one does have the box link cleat system. Uh, so it gives you additional uh, sort of tie down points in the bed. Looking at some of the outlets back here, we do have a another inverter outlet. So it's a you know household style outlet, 12 volt connector, USB, all of that. We'll also have your rear climate vents, cup holders, and this one does have the uh, all weather floor liners, uh, which is an option on, on every single F-150. Uh, so that's nice that we have that here. We'll move into the Lariat here and show you some of the differences. Um, again, Lariats do come with leather. Uh, so that's just, again, your, your sort of big difference between them. Uh, the Lariats also come with the rear center armrest here, uh, which is actually weird that Ford just didn't put it in the XLTs, but uh, we get this rear center armrest with the Lariat, which comes from cup holders as well. Uh, the seats again, also fold up. Now this one does have the partitioned lockable storage system. Uh, so you can actually fold this up and it gives you a nice lockable system that you can use uh, to maybe hide some valuables. You maybe don't want to put in the bed, uh, you can put in there, so that's nice to have. Uh, we also again have your rear under seat storage. But with the Lariat High Package, we do get the addition of the rear heated seats. Uh, so it's not available with the XLT, but you get rear heated seats with the High Package. And they also have all the same outlets back there, your inverter outlet, cup holders, and of course, we do get a nice view of that panoramic sunroof as well. Now, I'm going to show you the window stickers uh, for both of these trucks. So you can kind of get an idea of the price uh, for both of these. So this one here is the XLT, which is we're right in front of right here. Uh, this XLT, uh, you can see right there, you do have your Atlas Blue exterior with that EcoBoost 3.5 liter engine. And here's some of the options we have. So we have that high package, which is again the 0302A. Uh, again, most popular configuration for the XLT. And then we also have some of the options that are equipped on this particular truck. You have your FX4, your sport package, tailgate step, all of that. And there's some more options right up there. Three, uh, 360 camera. Brings the price to just under 70,000 or just over 69,000. Uh, that's Canadian dollars. So all these prices are in Canadian. Uh, so just keep that in mind, Canadian pricing here. Now we'll look at the window sticker for the Lariat truck, which is again right here. Uh, so again, we'll look at the top here. So this one is the uh, 145 wheelbase, which is a, just the shorter bed. Uh, so they're both super crew, but this one has the shorter bed, six and a half on the XLT, but you can configure them however you want. Uh, that's what's nice about the F-150s that you can kind of configure them however you want. If you want a longer box, you can get that no problem at all. Uh, 2.7 liter engine again, um, but there's that high package. Uh, so four point or $4,400 uh, for the high package. And then here's some of the options that it has. Uh, quite a bit of options, that twin, uh, twin panel moonroof being sort of the biggest option, uh, the biggest price altering tires. We have sort of a different stuff there as well. Uh, brings the price to 81.5, uh, roughly 81,500. Again, Canadian dollars. Um, so you have about a you know, 15 or $16,000 uh, price increase uh, versus your, your XLT uh, versus your Lariat. So you can kind of get an idea if, if the options are worth it to you for the Lariat, um, you can kind of justify the price. Uh, but so yeah, 81.5 versus the 69,000 for the XLT. But that'll pretty much do it for this video. I did just want to do sort of a, a comparison between the XLT versus the Lariat because we get asked this all the time. You know, people wonder what's the difference? Why am I paying an extra $15,000 for the Lariat versus the XLT? Uh, so that can kind of give you an idea of both. And I encourage you to go to the Ford website, either Ford.com or .ca or wherever you're located uh, and build and price one of these trucks because that'll give you the best idea of sort of the packages and trim levels and all the features that you get. Uh, between both of them. So the Ford build and price is the best tool that you can use, um, but I sort of just want to give you a visual representation of both of them. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.